Good evening everybody, welcome back. I am the Midnight Miner and in tonight's episode what we're gonna do is we're gonna update our miner to NB Miner version 39.6. This is the latest one and it claims that it's better than the previous one. So in this streaming computer that I'm running right now I have a 3060 and I know it was doing around 33.9 mega hash at around 118 watts. So what we're gonna do with this one is we're gonna download the new miner. We're gonna get the um, version 39.6 and we're gonna run it. And we're gonna see what we're getting out of it. How much of an improvement and with the same overclocks that I have um, set up in um, MSI Afterburner and we'll see where we're at with it. So first things first We're gonna go to the latest latest minor app and then we're gonna click on NB minor On uh, version 39.6 is gonna bring us over here. I downloaded this one uh, Just click on it and it will just start downloading. I already downloaded this and I have it in a folder the overclocks that I'm running on mine it is core at zero memory clock at 1500 uh, I have the power limit at 70 and the temperature at 83 the fan is at 90 so these are the settings that I've had before although I am streaming with this computer right now I know the uh, hash rate is going to be a little bit lower but what I'm gonna do is we're gonna still start this and we're gonna see what it does while we're streaming that way it can you guys can get a better idea um, just before I started streaming this one was running at about 33.8 I think or 33.9 um, it will run at around 34 mega hash uh, with 118 watts so it's not bad but we're gonna get a little bit of a view on this one we'll see how much of a difference it will make with a new miner I don't remember which one this is so let's just give it a minute for it to read our first reading is 30.2 as you guys can see here at 118 we'll wait for another one Second one is at 31.1, .1, still at 118. I think it's as high as, as it's going to go right now. Once I do this, I'm probably going to just have uh, another try on in Hive OS. Um, I have a 3060 Ti that it's running in Hive, and I would like to see that one running. The highest that we got it was 32.07. So. I'm going to close this one up. I'm not even going to set anything up in this uh, new NB Miner and uh, 39.6. I'm just going to run it with whatever this batch file is already. So let's start it up. And see, I didn't change the address. I didn't change anything. So we'll just test it out and see what it does. Let's figure it out together. I just want to see if this will make a huge difference in what we're getting comparing to what we got with the previous one. And then I'll probably run the other one in Hive OS. I'll try to update it and see what it does. So the first reading on this one is 29.05 at 116 watts. Wow. It is at 34.02 on the second reading. at 118 watts on power there is a little bit of a difference I'll say let's wait for another one let's see if it goes higher than 34 uh, the next one is 34.11 so I think that what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to get a screenshot of it without any other apps running in the background we'll see 
how well it does. It's it seems like it's still going up slightly. It's at 34.24 right now. So yeah, it seems like 34.24, around 34 mega hash right now. So let me turn this um, uh, recording software and everything else off, and I'll take a screenshot and come right back. All right. So after I turned off everything that was running in the background on this computer. I was able to get 38.38 mega hash at 114. It will bounce in between 114 to 118 uh, on power on this one with the same settings, same overclocks that I, I used before, but I just had to turn off some of the stuff that was running in the background. I actually really like this miner. It jumped about almost 4 mega hash on this hash rate for the 3060 that I have. It was after I turned everything off, I turned on uh, NB Miner version 39.2, I believe. And I let that run for a little bit, so I was able to get... Let me see if I can um, get you the screenshot. It was 34.64, I think. 6.5. Without anything running in the background. That's what I was running before I started recording this with the uh, version 39.2 and now I have the 39.6 it is almost 4 mega hash improvement on it I do like it I will run it and uh, hopefully they um, they they keep up the good work I do enjoy it I do like seeing that somebody is trying to get by this uh, hash rate limiter that NVIDIA decided to just put on all the GPUs apparently. Uh, hopefully one day somebody will crack it and uh, we'll just be able to use the cards as we want. Not as they tell us. So so at this point what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump on Hive OS and I'm going to try to update NB Miner to uh, version 39.6. And I'll get right back on it and I'll show you guys the results. Alright, and just like that, it got um, a quick update. We are on version 39.6. The miner just came up. We'll see what's going on with this and if we're uh, able to get a reading on it. So, it does seem like we are running at 126 on power. And this 3060 Ti, it's running at 42.30 mega hash in Hive OS after doing a simple update. So, as you can see, after the update, I mean, my 3060 Ti is bouncing up and down a little bit. It fluctuates, but it's still running at 39.93 in Hive OS, which I don't think it's bad. So, I think I'm going to let it run like this. I'm probably going to check back on it tomorrow and see if I need to change anything else. Maybe I'll mess with the overclocks, but for right now, I'm going to let it go and uh, see how it runs and if you'll actually just find a sweet spot and just stay over there and, and try to run more stable as opposed to bouncing up and down. But, yeah. So, guys that is everything for today's video if you guys enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe other than that guys i will see you on the next one take care